Thanks for checking out Henry AI Labs. This video is going to cover StyleGAN. StyleGAN is one of the most interesting uh, generative models, and it's able to produce faces like this from completely random uh, vectors. So this is a high-level overview of the StyleGAN model compared to the traditional uh, GAN framework. Well, not the traditional, but their uh, previous progressively growing GAN model, which uh, works in a multi-scale way. So first you generate a 4x4 image, then an 8x8, and then you, you know, follow this uh, powers of two upsampling process until you get to the 1024 by 1024 high resolution face images we just saw. So the first change they do is instead of feeding the latent code Z uh, to start the upsampling process, they start from a learned constant value. And the way that the Z vector is used is it is processed in this eight fully connected layer mapping network to this uh, W space. And the W space controls the mean and variance parameters of the adaptive instance normalization, which will, uh, we'll cover the details of that uh, next in the video. So another detail is they take this, uh, they add some Gaussian noise and they just concatenate it with uh, intermediate features. And then uh, this chart over here is just a, a FID chart, which is a evaluation metric that's supposed to you know, be highly correlated with diversity in generated images. And it just shows how uh, the miscellaneous things they added to the style GAN from the progressive GAN is able to increase the diversity of these uh, generated facial images. So now we'll talk about uh, the difference between batch normalization, instance normalization, and adaptive instance normalization. And this is a really important thing to understand for the style GAN model. So the primary idea behind batch normalization is that as you have the intermediate features in a deep neural network, you want to normalize them so that they are distributed along the Gaussian. And then the Gaussian distribution is parameterized by the mean and the variance. You know, the, and usually like a unit Gaussian, it would be like zero mean and uh, one variance. But they wanna let these uh, mean and variance parameters be flexible to adapt to the, um, you know, the task, whatever it, whatever kind of distribution of the features is best for fitting this, uh, for learning these uh, representations. And uh, so like in conditional batch normalization, you might have a different uh, gamma beta term for each class. But back to this focus, this idea is uh, batch normalization computes these uh, gamma beta parameters based on the statistics of a batch. So you might feed in like a batch of 32 images and then it will you know, normalize them based on the batch statistics. Whereas instance normalization will normalize it just based on one image. And then, like, different from this idea, the eta in layer will parameterize the mean and, the mean and variance terms based on two different uh, feature activations. So the, the mean of the Gaussian is defined by the mean of the Y features, and the deviation is defined by, you know, the deviation of the Y features. And so the way that this manifests itself in StyleGAN is that the W from the mapping network is uh, controlling the uh, distribution of features as the StyleGAN upsamples from the constantly learned value. So that's uh, this idea right here is what we just discussed is this A to N and how the W controls the way that the features are distributed as it's upsampled. So then one other way that they add uh, variance to the generated images is through these uh, noise concatenations. And these result in these really interesting like localized structures. So one other idea is uh, mixing regularization. And so what this is, is you just take uh, sample one vector Z1 and then use it for the first two ADN layers. And then you take uh, Z2 and use it for the three and four layers. So then the most interesting thing to the StyleGAN is its ability to interpolate between generated images. So this tile shows uh, how the two images can be combined in these really interesting ways. So then uh, with the StyleGAN, they want to try to present some quantitative metrics for uh, evaluating how well you can interpolate because ideally an inter interpolation space would you know, be something like this rather than this, where as you go from A to B, it'll like change dramatically. 
along the path. So they define these uh, perceptual paths based on intermediate activations from a pre-trained network. And this is different from taking like the Euclidean or Manhattan distance uh, between pixels, between generated images. And it's just like supposed to be a ro more robust metric for measuring uh, the difference in images. So thanks for watching this video on StyleGain. Uh, please check out henryailabs.com for articles on deep learning topics. Thanks for watching.